Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils and it's another technique that I've promised to show you and do a quick uh, video. It's the tricolouring um, or the marbling effect. Um, for this we're going to use the essential tools, so our uh, magnetic sheet, our metal stent, uh, spreader, a uh, palette knife and then we're going to use the stencil tape. Um, we're going to show you how to do first generation and second generation. So the first generation we're going to use a beautiful Mendy Flourish, one of the new ones. And then for the second generation we're going to show you how much more marbling you can get with um, the Mendy Flower. So going straight into the demonstration we're going to be using our 50 mils uh, pearlescent finish mediums and we are using uh, pale pink, pale blue and pale green. So, magnetic sheet first, as always. And we'll do the first generation, oops, let's pop the card on. First generation. So, that's about equal. Lovely. So, across the top, anchoring it down, whoops, and again, across the top, and again, and again, down the side, down the side. So, you're all masked off. Make sure you're nicely stuck down. Need an empty pot. So, this is one that I've Use. Normally I'll use, reuse this, you can see how much marbling it goes. After about the third generation you'll find that um, it'll get a little bit mucky or grey. So we're going pink. Uh, you'll need a baby wipe to hand as well and a tea towel uh, to hand as well. Or a bit, bit kitchen roll. So I think we will go those colours first. Okay, lovely. So, get yourself And you'll see why this is important. So, what we're going for is this effect. So, this is your first generation marbling effect. How beautiful it, it becomes. Lovely, lovely. And I just want to pull out, uh, if I can find it, here it is. So, so you can see, just by building it up, and you can build up more layers, how effective it is. Okay, so let's go for it. So make yourself a little bit of room. You're taking a little bit. And you can see I'm swiping it away. And clean off, check, clean off. That's why the baby wipe's important. Try your palette knife. So then you're going to go in with your second colour. And as I've always said, the new colours, they do not need mixing. Now for me that's contaminated, so rather than scraping it on the pot, you could scrape it in your mix pot, if you've got lots on there, and then your third one. So go in, then go in. So you're not wasting anything. And if I was honest, I prefer using the second rather than the first generation. Now that is really mixed. So I'm cleaning and I'm cleaning and I'm cleaning. I'm going in with my second colour and I'm swiping away and again, cleaning, cleaning keeping it always clean and your third that one's not too bad I can go back in with that and then clean and then clean okay so you've finished with these now so just pop your lids on so blue pale blue is pearlized pale pink is pearlized you know and mix the other colors so we've got lilacs and peaches and lemons mix and play with those or even do a pink and a white so a 
polarised pink or a glossy uh, white uh, with a glossy white and you get the most beautiful candy stripe. So we're going down with our spreader. So we're going gently. So you're not scraping it off, you're pulling a thickness towards you. So you can see how thick that is. Lift it up, balance it. Now I've got to carefully do this so I don't take it out of shot. Okay, so you're quarter turning it. Now you're going to scrape it off. So on and up. That goes gently push it into the pot so you're not mixing it too much. And you're scraping that off. And you're just making sure that you've got as much off because it's all money. It goes back in. And then that one will be second generation so that would then be second generation so we're just going to put the lid on that so it doesn't get a skin form and then once we've taken this off we can then show you with the uh, Mendy flower how much more marbling you get so there's no waste at all and even if it's gone a little bit grey use that little bit for um, putting glitters over you know at the end of the day there's no waste at all so we're taking our three sides off. I'm just going to push that to one side, clean up, clean up, lovely. And then we're pulling it out of the shot slightly to lift up, off, that comes off, right. Goes straight into water and there's your marbling effect. It is brilliant. So you can see how the greens and the blues and the pinks have all mixed, but without creating a sludge. So, magnetic sheet. We're going in with our card again. Lid on. Uh, stencil on rather, not lid on. Stencil on. Remember if you're using it with a die, writing is always up, upwards. Otherwise, you know, if you're not using the die, then you can use it whichever way. So we're going, so we're masking off. So about a good old inch away and again. So that is holding it down whilst you work. And again, whoops. And again. Down the side. And down the side. How's that? So making sure we're all lovely stuck down. So we're going now in with our uh, second generation. So I'm gently lifting without disturbing, lifting without disturbing. Oh, I've got a bit of the old yellow in there. There we go, but that's fine. I'll just make it more interesting. So when you're using second generation, you don't have to quarter turn. So we're just going along, up, Missed a little bit, dob it, back in. So you can see by that, it's getting more mixed. So it's going a little bit more gray. And normally I don't have much waste. After about my third generation, I don't have a lot left over. It's only because that's from the show pot that um, showing people the first generation all the time that I've got so much. So we're taking up, we're taking up, and we're taking up. And again, with your stencil tape. Teasing up your end. So pulling down. And off. Off. If you've got a tiny little bit, it's a water-based product, remember, what you can do is you can just wet it without disturbing the card. And there you go. So, you can see from your first generation to your second generation how much more marbling you can get. A nice quick demo. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and again, you know, any questions, don't forget to either email us or comment on Facebook and we can always, um, we can always respond to you.
Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our marbling technique. Thanks.